those are somebody's pronouns. Now, this issue, you may have heard some stuff on your own or at your own house, but this is more of me talking in a professional setting. So let's say you want to get a job one day. Your school, if you go to a public school, is a professional setting. So in any type of professional public setting, um, this is where pronouns deal with respect. They go hand in hand. Because it's what somebody likes to go by or be called. You know, my name is Trent. I, I wouldn't answer or like if you called me Joe. Somebody's pronouns um, is something that is important to them and unique to them. And if you don't know what pronouns are, I'm going to give a quick example um, so that way you know what pronouns are. By the way, mine are he, him, and his, so that will be relevant for this story. So I'm going to give you this framework of a story. I'm going to talk um, in the first person here. Um, that's not important. Don't worry about me saying that word. But let's just say you'll understand the story. I woke up one day and got ready for work. Um, I went to the bakery and the baker gave me a donut and on my way to work, I ate the donut. So it's a pretty easy story, pretty simple. But let's say somebody else was saying that story about me. They would probably say something like this. He woke up and got ready for work. He drove to the bakery and the baker gave him a donut. He ate it on his way to work. And you can use that story, everyone can use that story, um, and if you wanted it to be talked about you, what, what would you want the, the writer or the person talking about it to say? And those would be your pronouns. You saw I used he, him, and his. Um, and whatever your pronouns are, um, are what you want to be referred to and called by. And just to be clear too, because this is a newer topic for a lot of people, um, asking somebody for their pronouns or... Um, if someone tells you about their pronouns, that's no more personal than them telling you um, their name. Sometimes, um, to err on the side of caution, you know, it's just like if you're in a situation where you, I, I, I'm in this situation a lot where I can't remember somebody's name and I don't want to ask them for it. So I, I have a pro tip for you guys. If you don't remember somebody's name, the one thing that I do is like, hey, I'm not sure if you remember me. My name is Trent. And then usually, you know, they tell me their name back. But the bigger point about pronouns that I'm trying to say here is that it should be pretty normal to introduce yourself. You know, when let's say you're in the first day of class, and this is what happens in a lot of my college classes. I say my name is Trent Ramsey. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and his, and I like to play football. So it's just something as simple as that, something that identifies you for the pronouns that you like without, you know, having to go out of your way to kind of say that. I don't want to keep telling people a hundred times that my name is Trent. I mean, I just feel like you wouldn't want to get to know me at that point. So see on things, some of the staff members at some of our clubs on their name tags, will have that listed as well. So it's an easy reference. It's always there just with my name. It's um, Trent Ramsey, my, you know, my pronouns are he, him, and his, so. But anyways, those are just a couple of ways that I feel like respect can be shown very properly and um, very effectively to another person. That's all I got today. Now go out there and be respectful. Thank you for watching this video from our virtual club. Be sure to check out this website for lessons just like this one, updates from your favorite staff, and for some fun activities that you can do at home.